one. Can you fix the Get it done, view girl. kinder, please? You want me to what? Do you like it? Are you happy with that? I can't really see it very well because the iPad's way over here today. How about that? Well, that will get in the way of that. Yeah. So we'll just push it beyond. Hi, guys. Our... How is everybody? Um, we're just going to pull this up maybe over here. Make sure I'm on. Yep. Looks good. It's finally Wednesday. I'm going to need a lot of this spray for my face today. What is that? So I feel like I need a nap. It's water. <laughs> Did you put lavender in it? No, it's just water. From Do you want me to? Ooh, a nice mist. That means I'm going to be not asleep. Oh, well, true. Yeah, I don't have put orange water citrus. drops all over my... <laughs> um, yes. Anyway, we've been designing like so much, like crazy, crazy lately. And the offices needed an overhaul. So we did that, but kind of knocked me out. But we're here anyway, and very excited to be here. I'm super excited because I um, designed these kind of early. I guess it's kind of sad being ahead of the game because I don't get to design something and then show it to you right away. I have to be like annoying and patient and wait to show you things. So. Annoyed. Oh, I mean annoying. You said it right first. Where's the water? I'll spray you. <laughs> Um, anyway, oh, here, I found it. Come here, Mom. <laughs> it's okay. I don't, like, respond as well. Actually, this works great for paint projects, too. I have a naturally, I get natural, like, mist on my face from hot flashes. I thought you were done with hot flash I am. time. I am, completely. But if I get overly stressed and nervous, I can break out. You can yeah, get I think pretty much anyone can. You can really get them at any age. Yeah. yeah. These are non-hormonal hot flashes. This is called stress sweats. <laughs> that sounds fun. Lori was out of town. Hello, everybody. Oh, Lori Tebow was out of town? Um, yeah. I missed her. Where did you go? I haven't Anywhere seen her fun? for a while on here. Um, yeah. Definitely miss everybody. Wait, Julie, do you always put a cactus because you live in Arizona? Because I'm going to be Did so finally, jealous if that's like, where you're from. Put that together? I is it, usually just see her. Hi, I don't see the emojis. Which which uh, city is it again? I can't remember. Is it Scottsdale or Phoenix? Or I can't remember. We'll find out. If I mean, she's you know listening. how Phoenix Flame, right? Whoa, Fantastic. this is a tribute you go. to you, Julie. <laughs> My goal. Oh, Phoenix, is that what you're saying then? Because I'm going to come li live with you because I'm ready to be <laughs> in Arizona way more often in the she year. She said, Julie said she wants to go shopping with us when we're in Tucson this year. Anyone who's going to Tucson should come shopping with us. Yeah. So you'll get your fix hanging out with Julie for a while. For, for a while. sure. Anyone who's in Tucson too. Oh, Scottsdale. She's in Scottsdale. Oh, that's pretty there. Because that's a little cooler and more green, right? So, oh, my hair's all wrapped up in the necklace. Oh, what, so, what, food did, what food did Lisa have? She said good food, equally good mood. That is so true. I made us all a huge breakfast bar this morning, but I still want more. <laughs> it wasn't enough. We just need to put the spread all right out in front of you. Exactly, just right, right nice here. Jewelry. I'm telling you, we need the... Salami and Hawaiian bread sandwiches. Yeah, that would be perfect right now. Or turkey is good too. Hi, Karen. It's true. Um, so, what was I gonna say here? Oh, Robin. Hey, you guys, I always wanna have a little smiley face waving oh, when people go. say hi, and you just have a heart of like, you have a heart. I, know, right? I just wanna have a hi. It's the hi emoji, yeah. right? I know, it's ridiculous. You know, they could have a high emoji. All they have to do is use the marijuana leaf. There you go. They got one, right? There's a salute emoji. Uh, that, well, I think probably in text there's a lot more options, but Facebook only has. Lisa, I get the... Black down. 
I get the sense that Lisa's a health nut. Which Lisa? we're funny because we are we know a lot about health and nutrition over here, but we don't always follow the rules. <laughs> That's so we are health nuts that break the rules. Because freaking sugar exists. That's why. Yeah, I don't, I'm We're not like a fan of sugar. Health nuts, you know what I'm saying? True. Can of chocolate health nuts. Who <laughs> so all here are sugar fiends? Half of my family like have to have sugar, and half have to have like fried fatty. Yeah. That's... I'm fried fatty. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> I'm a fried fatty, and who's a little sugar plum? I want to see in the comments. I see. Oh, hi, Linda. It's good to see everybody. Okay, so, Mackie, should we talk about what we saw on Dakota Stone's live and how, yeah. we were, how we were like a little jealous, like a lot jealous? Because they had, did you know they had like 150 people watching at one time? That was their high? I'm like, what the crap? And Mackie said, it's because it's 5 o'clock. They do it like at 5 o'clock, our time. So that would be six and seven, you know, six central, seven mountain. I mean, east coast. And then I'm like, oh, wait, why are you still on me? Because you were not done with your story. Anyway, you guys, it was so fun watching Dakota Stones. And I saw, we saw a couple people. Yeah. Cindy and Angel. Angel. Yeah, it was good to see you guys on there. But they had the most beautiful bead strands. You guys have to catch their lives because their beads they sell like way under retail <laughs> and what what were some of the highlights i mean we were hoping to find more fairy beads you know like iridescent things and they didn't have a ton of those that well, time. not this time but we know we got they show got. that strand right there that we want to get from them that we're going to get from them but this is the kind of beads that we're looking for love them Glory, geez. Yeah. But you guys go see the Dakota Stones lives because they are hey, so Hey, Ainsley, fun. is there any way we can switch the, like, if I want to hold something up to the camera, it won't mirror it, or it will mirror it instead of flipping it? Oh. Did you ever figure that out? There's not a way that I know of to, mm. to do that. At Sad. Least, well, actually, maybe on this device, but not on Oh, the... but she'll be completely... Yeah. Time for another spray. I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, no, Why? it does Did it. you not get any sleep last night? I did. I'm just tired. It's like, huh. yeah. when we went Overworked. to um, a few places out west, they would have those, those big arches with the mists in them. Oh, and yeah. You're on, a, you're on a hike, and then you can walk through. And yeah. It just, like, reinvigorates you. So nice. Dang, you guys are good about your sugar intake. What? Robin cut it six years ago. I mean, yeah, sugar is the devil. It's pretty dang evil. All right, enough yappity yappity. Let's uh, let's just jump right into it. Do this we? This is my favorite time. Miss. We can yeah, always Karen, we can good always to you, come girl. back. She loves sugar. We're gonna eat a lot of sugar together, and when we get to when we get to see you guys in Tucson, we still have to find a house. Yeah, we need to do that well, now, too. Right? Well, that we one, we found one, but then it wasn't available, to, or no, no. We found it, it was available, we were ready, and they said no um, events, parties. No, goodness. No events. Right. Like, if we're not really having an event, we were just doing a hangout, but we didn't want to, we were scaredy cats and didn't want to get in trouble. I am putting up first... The Phoenix Flame. Do you want to pull that um, farther this way and then into the light? Because <clears throat> there's still a dark spot over here. It doesn't look dark. Oh, gosh. Yeah, there we go. I didn't do anything. But did it's just because it's on this background. It looks really good on this computer. So, one thing about Dakota Stones is that they're like the funniest most clever guys on the planet and it's like i just want to be funny like them and cool <laughs> should i say what was super super funny this might be tmi but um uh -oh. 
No, it's Here not bad. Heads up, ladies. It's like Mackie and I were on Teams, and we were watching the live together, and we were just cracking up because Jeff and they, he's so dry. They're I mean, so like, funny. so dry and so funny and witty. He's like Logan, you know. He's got, like, boom, coming right at you, something back. But then afterwards, Dad and I are hanging out, and he's like, hey, you know, I mean, this is definitely not any kind of, like, accusation or anything for sure because, you know, I love you so much and trust you, but is there any chance that you might have a crush on Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I started cracking up so bad because I'm like, yeah, I, I wish he was my brother. Because that's the kind of person that Jeff is. And I'm like, you know what? He's so dang funny and he's so sweet and they're good, good people that wouldn't it be nice to just have a whole family filled with them? I would love that. We could use more they're in our so family. quick. I know. Yeah, no, I just so for the record, want to guys, be quick and funny like that. For the record... I want Jeff for my brother and and Ricky and not anything else because he's got a beautiful <laughs> wife. <laughs> Plus, you should put that out there because, you know, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, right. Jeff's been in a little bit of, you know, he can be misunderstood for sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, yeah, Ricky, Ricky, I, you're, Ricky's killing it. I love his personality. He reminds me of somebody. Who is it, Mac? Um, someone we know, or like a celebrity? Because I couldn't, I couldn't put my finger on it. I know, it's not like Pawn Stars or anything like that. No, right? probably yeah, some like sort that. of vibe like that, yeah. though. Yeah, maybe. Um, We're gonna have to figure that out because I, I was trying to figure that out too. Good vibes. Okay, speaking of good vibes, look at this, Mackie. Jean. And I tag team this. And disclaimer, uh, there's no disclaimer. I don't need it. Full disclosure, Jean picked every component out aside from maybe one. Disclaimer, <laughs> Jean designed this. <laughs> in case you don't like it. In case you don't like it, no. Full disclosure. Oh and my I gosh. take the credit oh, because she picked almost every component out. I only added... The gorgeous branch that she cast. Look at that weird bruise made. on my. Get the weirdest, ran, most random bruises ever. Not just the set. The bruise. <laughs> and I also added that gorgeous copper filigree ring with the bird. That, you guys. So that gorgeous copper. copper yeah, ring. it says. Eight piece because eight completed pieces. That's oh, yeah, why we say it that way. But yeah, pieces. we should say both ways. We should say oh, yeah. eight they piece finished actual. and this then like forty pieces. We should say that. You're yeah. right. Thank you, Lisa. Wait, should I count but them? We have to count. Yeah, excluding the jump rings, right? Well, here, show the back. Yeah. Show the back how many pieces are in there. I added it up. There was a hundred and sixty-five dollars worth of retail elements in there. We it's a big chunker guy. I, didn't I say? I said collection. Jewelry collection right. kit. Um, this to buy individually was 165 Is that what I said or 45 I can't remember. Anyway, a lot. Yeah. And we are bringing it all the way down to 58 bucks. So it's like we always try to make things three times markup for you guys. But that's just a three times markup on the findings themselves. That's not like when they're finished. This is really great. Jean's gonna demo that too, by the way. We didn't finish it because there's so many different ways you could finish that bracelet. Yeah, you could put it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hiccup. That's we'll get it over the leaf too. Unreal. <laughs> yeah, a choker. Oh my yeah. gosh. I'm somebody like Mackie, right? I just didn't know. I mean, I, you can hang it two strands. You can do one strand from the leaf. You can do a wide. No offense, you guys, but I'm kind of surprised that you guys did this so well together. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, just because your design styles are so different. We did it on two. We weren't together. She just started <laughs> it on one day, and we did it on two. I did it on Tuesday. 
That's so funny. I'm a good finisher, and Jean's a good starter. These earrings, by the way, are like the most featherweight possible, possible earrings ever. So like, think about that in the summertime, because I feel like, you know when it's like really hot outside and your jewelry is really heavy? Kind of like, it's not the greatest feeling, but this everything today is so lightweight. Like you can't even feel it. We try to do that pretty often, so. Anyway, yes, you can, I did not go over this, but you can comment. Um, if you're new here, you can comment cart 100 and then you will be sent that item to your uh, messaging system. It's super easy. We actually tried it out ourselves when we were doing Dakota Stones because I think they used a similar program and it was super easy and... Oh yeah, I loved that. So fun and addicting. And this so try it out. One, we, as always, you guys, there are only these are limited kits, and Jean was only able to make I think like thirty and a bunch already sold. So <clears throat> make sure that you get yours because wow, and all right, you can make a ton out of these. Have we started that long enough for now? Yeah, until you demo it, we'll like move it out of the way. What you looking at now? That one wants to stay. Yeah. Oh, should we throw the paint set up there? Oh yeah, yeah, that might help. <laughs> okay. Since that's what we're demoing today. I'm gonna put that up. Yeah, we could just show the paint. Jane, tell me if I have everything, okay? Okay. Are there Look 10 that. bottles? Nice mm -hmm. handful. Yes. Okay. Whew. By the um, way, your paint. I, since we wiped out all the iridescent violet, I brought two brand new bottles. So let me. Yay. Jean's your paint bottle your paint bottles will come brand new, not used like ours. <laughs> there you go. Here's, here's a less empty one. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. That was our junkiest looking one, so that's good. It's because we use it with everything and yeah, everything. We put it in so many of these kits, but that's okay because we use it like three to one. Yeah, you with, guys are gonna go. All of your bottles medicine. will look perfect and pretty like this, but these are all the colors you're getting as well. One, two, three, four. Can you like ten piece? Do you think you could lay them down like No, because I don't want them to spill on the background that we use all the time. Well here, let me give you this. I'm in love with it. How about we'll this? come back to it since we're featuring it. <clears throat> One thing about this set is I really, really always love pairing the lapis and the garnet together because they make the most beautiful plum, plummy, pinky, violet. <clears throat> I think the unexpected star of this set too is the neon yellow. I know that's right? the flash. That's yep. like that flash that you need in this flame. All it's right. the flash in the we'll flame. We'll have a list of that, but that's the idea. That's a gorgeous presentation, Mac. <laughs> you came up with it, so you can take ownership of that one. Here's your white, which works terribly. On Whatever. Them. Have you ever seen Bob Ross's palettes? They're trashed. That's what looks good. I know. Not That's what that. I'm saying. This looks no his palette. His like when you look like at paint his paints. Palette. Oh. They're all like trashed. I love it. I didn't I couldn't find a Alright. That's the paint mm -hmm. set. Now. And we're gonna be um, putting in a comment with all a list of the colors too. Oh yeah, are we doing that right now? Yep. We're working on it. And there's not a specific order on this one, is there? No, kind of all this, it's everything kind of just in stages, yeah. right? So yeah. your colors and then. All right, I'm going to put up my very fairy. Take this off. Do, do, do. Alrighty. So the very fairy and the fairy unicorn both come with 
a ton. I'm gonna move this out from that black so you can see. Come with the complete, it's a complete, so it comes with necklace, bracelet, and earrings. So I'm gonna take this bracelet off, although I'm sad because I love it. And I'm also not usually a bracelet fan, but lately everything we've been making is super comfortable and nice. I can't remember yesterday, who was it? Was it Monica who said she wants a, one of those bracelets of every color? Oh yeah. I said, wouldn't that be a cool kit if Mackie, if we had enough left, if Mackie made like four different, like five, like a. I can make a ton a of. A fab five. I can that make a ton of a great, those. Like, idea. Yeah. Um, is to do like a whole rainbow of the same kind of thing. Yeah. Like a multi, like a, a That's pack. why I started right. doing yeah. that with the um, variants of the necklaces and stuff. Maggie, what do you think about making that bracelet in five colors and calling it a fab five for like maybe next week? Or for week sure, after? and I'll do it in colors mm -hmm. that are different from what you're getting so you get five more on top of it. Yeah, because they're great for gifts and they're great for shops, flea markets. Yeah, those would sell like mm -hmm. mad. Monica said she would totally buy packs of those bracelets. Awesome. <laughs> okay, we will do it. Speaking of that, do you want to tell everybody your good news? Who, me? Yeah. Speaking of flea markets. Oh, can you push that higher in the Oh, yeah. Screen, I'm in the, I just did that. Thank you. I'm behind. <clears throat> um, I am doing a flea market. Actually, a bunch of them. This. I'm going to be selling my clothes. Is it the flea? Boise flea. Boise flea, yeah. We just met her the other day. We were garage sailing. And we Aaron? Met that That's how we met her, too. Yeah. Was yeah. garage sailing. Well, she's smart because she knows Treasure Valley is not just treasure for the gems. It's treasure yeah. for everything. Yeah. Probably okay. some vintage, like, decor and stuff, too. And aren't you going to do, and, like, those cool vintage lucite rings? Yeah, stuff that is not, like, our style here, too, I'm going to do, so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sawyer. You posted all the paint names. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, yeah, it should be a fun, like, outing thing. Do something fun and social for once instead of being a hermit inside and making things. Which, honestly, is just as fun, in Don't my opinion. Don't you go to the park? What? Don't you go to the park? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, to. sometimes. Oh, my. I love it held in your hand. Because you can see the fairy smelling the flowers and mm -hmm. <clears throat> all the little details that you can't see when it's laid down. How much would we sell the bracelet for? 45 bucks. Oh, at least because... If you want them to fly out the door, <clears throat> I would do 45 bucks probably. There's and But yeah, it is Swarovski crystal, so you can save that. And you have two crystals in there. And then you also have an eight, you also have a um, Bohemia crystal in the on the end of it so mm -hmm. i would say 55 bucks these earrings too are super 40 45 would be a steal sweet and cute as well 55 at a at a normal but in a high end probably 125 <clears throat> all right i put that down all messy because i'm gonna put the 60 rub and set up $60. That's a good price. I think it's it a is. good median price. Yeah. I was going to say that's probably a decade ago what we would have charged the original that's price. That's probably what we're thinking yeah. just because it was a decade ago since we had a store. A <laughs> store, yeah. <clears throat> All right. There is the fairy unicorn. Oh, Monica's trying to do her first um, farmer's market. Oh, oh. yeah. We find, kind of we find that our vintage <clears throat> metals, like the antique metals, go really well at farmer's markets in particular. Yes, they do. So if you have solid brass, maybe consider pin, um, painting it with the um, combination green. of iridescent green and earth. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's the money bags right there is the... Oh, Stephanie's doing Farmer's Markets finish. and Fiber Fest in Montana? Yeah, that's awesome. You'll be awesome. so close. You'll be like five hours from us. If that's only five hours, I'd do a show up there if there was a weekend sometime, a just so I could get there. It depends on where you go in Montana, obviously. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she knows, maybe somebody knows. What is Montana Blue named after? Is it named after just oh, like, like the a sky or, or something? The, or something in nature? I'm curious that's a good about question. the origin. It is a very big sky, big sky yeah. Montana. But that's like, such a beautiful color, right? Yeah, I love Montana, Montana blue. blue. <clears throat> so, again, the code's in the top of the screen, CART 103. Um, and are we gonna start with the jewelry collection, painting We're that? Gonna, yes, we are. Do you wanna show, do a quick- um, What, Peggy? What That's say? crazy. Somebody um, got her on, on the computer. What? Good luck with that. Wait, where Sending is- Sending prayers. Wait, where do you see that? on a comment. Yeah, you guys message her while I do this. Make Wait, sure she's good. I don't see the comment even. I don't see Peggy's comment. Where are you seeing it? On my comments. Oh, Whoa. No. Whoa, I can't Is even it see it. From... Yeah, do you know where it's coming from? We might just be delayed. She might be yeah. seeing it sooner than we did. That long? Alrighty. Oh, Stephanie said you can stay at her house if you come to Montana. Oh, hoo, hoo. How far away is that, by the way? Um, where in Montana, I guess I should ask. Instead. Peggy says I can't. Yeah, Karen can't see. Oh, Karen can't see Peggy either. Where did you see Peggy? I mean, I only can see comments right here. So oh, I'm seeing funny. it on Carter. Oh, no, I can't see Peggy's comments at all. Peggy, have you been commenting this whole time and I no, can't see No, I've you? been looking. She I hasn't until <clears throat> earlier. Oh, man. Where? Because I didn't see her at all on here until um, just now. Because she said, hey, I'm late. <laughs> that was her first comment. Maybe, maybe I'm confusing someone else I saw earlier. Maybe, yeah. So I was like, where's Peggy? She's always the first one to say hi. Wait, every, some people are seeing her and I still can't. I'm so jealous. <clears throat> oh, can you look up Libby Sawyer? L-I-B-B-Y Montana. How far are we from Libby? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I saw this. I thought, like, from the side of my eye, I thought it was, like, hair, a really hairy mm -hmm. arm of mine. What? I was what? like, what? Just the blonde desk behind? It's like, why is my arm so hairy? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Nine hours away from my car. Oh, that's oh. not that bad. It's like, it's just... Not like a quick trip, though. It's like right to the right of the chimney stack. So it's far east, or far western Montana. Northwest Montana, so right by the border. Okay, Peggy, Can quickly, explain. I want you to know that I went through it, too, and it really sucks. Wait, you but did? I got life lock. Yeah, I, don't I remember did. that. I remember that. Yeah, I got it in when we were working downtown Boise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, plug it. <laughs> yes, well, Wait, Ben. Wait, what happened? Because Ben clicked on some clickbait. Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh, they yeah. were hijacking him for like yeah. 45 minutes, and I was in the other room painting. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you, what are you doing on my work computer? And he's like freaking out. Like, and he's like, he's Wait, like, oh, Wendy, is this just... right? They're asking me for your something like social security number. And I'm like, what? And we all ran in the other room, and I'm like, Ben, oh my gosh. Don't feel bad, though, because they, that's their really full-time, that's their full-time life is becoming they good at that. clone websites. Yeah. They clone the whole bank website, so you have to just really pay attention to the URL. I feel like, I feel company, Chase is a big one. Chase, I, all yeah. the time, yeah. that happens I, with I Chase. I know power. The, the power company in, in Idaho has like sent a warning on their website that people are cloning the Idaho power yeah, website. Yeah, some of the local banks too. Yeah. Jeez, look at Nancy's comment. What, 15,000? 
<gasps> from her ID being stolen. Oh my! Can she? Did she recruit it? I don't know. <coughs> if you get LifeLock, you can. Um, that's like an insurance. All righty. Well, good thing no one's having that happen here because we all know and love each other. Thank goodness. All right. What do you guys want me to start with? Peggy, I'm super, super sad for you. And anyone else who's dealt with it here, I'm really super sad for you guys. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Didn't have to pay. Hopefully oh. Peggy doesn't have to. That would be ridiculous. You know what? Banks are very, if you're in a, you know, trustworthy bank, they're really good at supporting you. Yeah, just if anything, like, sets off your radar a little bit. Go you know right to I mean? the bank, yeah. Just yeah. don't. That's what I don't. Don't ignore it, right? If your spidey your instincts tingle at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Listen to it. All right. How do we buy the unicorn medallion? Nanette, everything that you see in these lives, um, the, this is the only way you can buy them in the lives, and the unicorn medallion we don't carry. So a lot of the reason we do the Vintage Lives is so that you can see unique items that we've had in our warehouse and we bring them to the front, but not something that we're going to, um, we're going to carry. Most of the time it's because they're vintage, but this time because we, it's a lot of churn to add product into our inventory and we usually do just do a lot of metal. Does, um, Sawyer, do you want to give her maybe the cart number for that one? For the whole kit? Oh, yeah. Matt, do we know the, which cart number is? For unicorn? The, the unicorn? Yeah, the unicorn. Mackie can look right there and see this cart number. You just pop it on the screen for two seconds. Fairy unicorn is 103. And very, very fairy, fairy is 102. So cart 103. For fairy unicorn, cart 102 for fairy fairy. Cool. Mm. Mackie? Yeah. I'm just going to tell you right now, you are going to love this. Yay. And I'm going to get you a Dixie cup because you're going to need it for the feather. Okay. I'm just spending some nice time laying these out. To show everything that's in the kit. Are these supposed to come with four? One, two, three, four, or just three? I get three. There you go. Oh, sorry, that doesn't need to be there. <laughs> hey, Jean, did you know that there's, did I, is that just one that was extra? Are there three in this kit? Here, whatever. If you guys get four, that'll be a treat. Sorry, I was just, somebody was asking a question. I'm just, you're totally fine. To, you're fine. Yeah. I'm just having a nice time looking at every thing that's hey, in here. Guess what I'm doing right now? What? I'm going over to your breakfast bar. Good. I love that. I already had rice and I already had rice, grapefruit, um, pineapple. No, you're not. Rice, grapefruit, pineapple, and pretzels. I'm gonna have more. Fun. Cream cheese. I'm trying to keep everyone fed so that we can stay energized during our marathon lives, which we said we weren't gonna do anymore, and here we are right back to them. It's just classic. A break now. Cause Ainsley here. Yeah. And you only have to do one live, and Ainsley does the other one. So there are some of the pretties. Focus on out. the journey, not the destination, right? Yeah. <clears throat> 
All right. Finally, laid that whole thing out. I'm still finding that you should probably move your center focal that you're gonna paint on a little bit higher in the screen. I don't have a center focal out yet, yet right now. I know, but I know the space that you're gonna use it in. Perfect. That's gonna be very helpful. I think I'm, st am I still looking at the fairy, the fairy fairy also? Maybe we should go back to Phoenix Flame, huh? did a fun thing and when she was doing this technique thanks made it super simple and just how many drops per in the I pool. just started making a pile and I started with where is everything oh I started and ended with iridescent violet. How many? Uh, what'd you do? Three? That's perfect. Three or four. All right, we're gonna be doing right onto the mat. We're making ourselves a little pool. You can put it right on top of it, like all, yeah. Plenty more. I didn't. I would just put just, plenty. I literally can't even get it out of the bottle. So, otherwise, do you I want would. a new bottle? That's an old, an, um, like an original one. It's always way worse under the lights. That's what I've found. Because I had no problem getting a bunch of paints out yesterday, and I was over on the design. We just table. used a lot of that one. I think it's more empty. Yeah. I'm going to do less of the red. There's a new hematite for you. Thank you. I did like two drops of red compared to the rest. Yeah. Yeah. I did plenty Red's of I did plenty of white gold. good for that yeah good yeah our bottle tips get really dried but just specifically under these lights we never have have to um, do it quite as much as we do on the live yeah now you start seeing this nice big pool like you're really creating a pool <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I can't wait to see this. That's why I'm like standing over you, not to not to judge, but I'm late and I want to have a... Do you want a chair? No, I got one right here. Oh, if you have one. Mm -hmm. All right. 
and iridescent purple again? Yeah, violet. Just a couple. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so mom did this fun thing. And if you want, you can pop the bubbles right now. Don't mix it. Not you. People. Anybody out there watching, don't do any mixing. You can pop the bubbles, but don't mix your colors. Okay, that's good enough. All right. So you're gonna take your feather, you're gonna kind of stamp and pull like swipe thing. And you get a perfect fiery. And then you can do other things in it too. Think. That is... See how that all stays in line and proper? You can even pull this down with your paintbrush or <laughs> whatever. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> do you want to do another one? Yeah. Let me go grab one. Oh, no. I'm going to do other things in it. Are you sure? Yeah, Hi. I mean, there's plenty of metals out right here. You can do your, um, do your Those little coins. Metal. These? Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in. And I used this, Mackie, I used this to, and put it in the hole and then I just dipped it. Yep, exactly. Like that, you can put it in. And same thing, you're gonna Stamp and slightly swipe it like that. And then just blow the hole. There's your. Doesn't that look like a perfect little fiery enamel? Yeah. So beautiful. I'll set those down. This Phoenix Fire is. I just love it so much. This combination. Okay. I'm just gonna prep these by flipping them all on their face, I guess. The bird looks really beautiful in the pool too. Oh yeah, I can't <clears> wait. <throat> and Look how you... pretty that pool looks. Ugh, Don't I you know. just wanna preserve that? Yes. And like have that on a painting? Mm -hmm. You could actually, you could dip the feather in and then right after you could put watercolor paper. Mm-hmm. If you really want it vibrant, you could do um, your cold press. What? I said if you want it super vibrant too, you could do cold press watercolor paper. Oh. <clears throat> you can also pop bubbles with fresh paper towel. That works really well. So look at all these um, little fire enamels we're making fire cold enamels because it's not even faux enamel because this is technically like an, an enamel paint yeah enamel resin paint so you are cold enameling cold right now enamel. we thought about naming our paints that actually which in jewelry terms we probably should have but you know what it's the thing is is we do other surfaces aside from metal and that's, I think, why we have landed on paint <clears throat> for leather and wood and everything. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just so universal. And there Fire. are other materials that we use in paint, right? Or in jewelry, I mean. Yeah. Ooh, that one was pretty. Isn't this satisfying? I mean... Couldn't you just do that all day? Just put a pile out and just keep on going and going? Like, look at those. Yeah. This is just like a foolproof. I'm freaking out. This is such a foolproof way to achieve just phenomenal things. Now, do you like refresh the colors as you go along? This one, you don't until it becomes dull. Uh -huh. <clears throat> if it like becomes if, dull, you just wipe it off uh -huh. and then start over. Or if you wanted like a little more flash <clears throat> of yellow or uh, iridescent, blue or iridescent. Absolutely. Yeah. That Maggie probably is realizing right now is where she would just keep refreshing the pool with all the colors. Yeah, after four smalls. Plus, you you can just drop it right 
in the pool. Both and four smalls and your feather. Can I still yeah. do, yeah, the big feather? Yes, you can put anything in there. I mean, on want. my other pieces, like yeah, iridescent we, yes, purple. Yes, that's what I did, too. So iridescent purple <clears throat> works great if you want to do a little flash while it's still wet like that. And that will bring out some little magic in those that you already have done. Mm -hmm. So work with those while they're still wet, if you want to add. I actually did that same thing, Mac. And it act it does spread. It doesn't just sit there. And yeah, it will so move around on its own. <coughs> on those. But so see I how that I made that perfect little flash? That's all I would do, right. And just you can decide, it. too, which colors it needs or not. Where'd my poker go? I always need like 12 of those out. Oh, Kimmy. Kimmy said she loves the paint because it is the ultimate paint. Let me get you another Truly. One. That's why we called it that because we're like, it does everything. We um, always make our technique right. And then we make, um, since the paints are so magical and they do like really will do the work for you. We always come up with the easier version and it always looks just as good. Like Mackie, just for instance, this is a completely different color palette for anybody new. And while you're doing that, I was just gonna show, this is something that we would do for a bezel. And it's got so much like shimmer. And that's just on watercolor paper. <clears throat> Same technique that Mackie's using right now. And you just take a little spritz bottle just once or twice with water and it'll spread out like crazy and, and get it wet first. But that's another day. Definitely picturing some more. <gasps> Look at that fire violet. in the middle, Mac. Yeah, I know, with the oh yellow right next gosh. to the red. Oh, and hematite. Although it's we like have lava. kind of a lot of hematite. I'll Doesn't just it? Put a it looks like here. the. Yellowstone yeah. pools. We were thinking about like lava pools first, yeah. and then we were talking about like that kind of that blue iridescent flame look too, and we're like, oh, Wendy said Phoenix. Yeah, yeah but then like, you said oh, flame. Phoenix flame. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was so gorgeous. Well, the minute you laid them all out in a pool, they looked like a phoenix. Yes. And then yeah. I'm like, what could go with phoenix? And Jean's like, they look on, on fire, and it's just flame. Here's the feather, by the way. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and you can even add iridescent to that again, too. But it's gorgeous. The way yeah, it I was going to say right here. <clears throat> it's kind of where I'd want to see some, which I may have been a little late on that, but. Oh my gosh, Mackie, look at the yellow oh, not flash bad. along this. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Would yeah. you just look at it? Would you look, just look, look at, at that? that. What is that from? Ed Bassmaster. Ed Bassmaster. Oh, but yes, that right. character, I don't know if he's Ed Bassmaster, though. Because all of them have different names. Skippy, oh. Ed Bassmaster. <laughs> oh, I think if you look up Ed Bassmaster. My favorite, my right. favorite's the, um, I'm gonna do this the Fabuloso guy. one. I'm just going to stamp everything. Mackie, before you do that, you put that gorgeous iridescent on the feather. Can we see it real quick? Because it was I just did. a little flash. It went super fast. What? Yeah, I just wanted to... I did it back and forth for like three whole seconds. You did? Doug is like, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did I know that if he was watching? Yeah. 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 Oh, you that's know one, it. That's one way to make sure Doug Yeah, that's watching. a... Skip, <laughs> skippy rules, man. Scott, Scott loves <laughs> him too <laughs> so have you seen, much. Have you seen the Men in Black skit? Where no. he takes one of those kid toys where it like lights up and spins and he pretends it's like the denaralizer for the, oh. and he pretends he's a man in black and he's like, do you remember anything I just told you? And they're like, yeah. He's like, piece of crap. And he, walk, and he walks away. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. You know what? Anybody here, oh if you gosh, want to guys. laugh, like, make sure you like go to the bathroom first. Cause if and, you want to laugh so hard. don't be drinking water. Right. Yeah, don't drink a drink of water in the middle of it because you'll spit it out all over the living room. Look up Ed Bassmaster. Yeah, Doug. Doug's the He's founder of that one for us. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was before any of. Do you remember that's all we watched in Tucson? <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have to check that one out, Doug. We came home at night and all we did was watch Ed Bassmaster. Oh heck yeah. 
Also, I'm just gonna pull some of this paint right up there Maggie, if that bothers you. Do you see how the iridescent flowed so well yeah. into those art metal pieces? Oh yeah, which reminds me, I'll do that on this too. Maybe right in between this deep red. By the way, if you see a bubble coming out, you can preemptively tap it off uh, of your nozzle. Ooh yeah, right there in that. Oh, you guys, we're missing an Red entire is conversation. Gorge. About the B12. About B12. I know. I want to. I want some B12 injections. I used to, I used to get. I used to get. Because I take it, but I feel like it doesn't do shiz. It doesn't do crap for I, me when I take I it in pill form. Sometimes you can. Yeah, like Drew, you can give yeah, me injections just, at Drew's. Right. True. You. Can. That's what I. I used to do that because my B12 levels were super low. Stephanie, I eat an avocado every other day, hands down. It's so healthy. Oh yeah, weren't you saying that, Stephanie, last live too? Mm -hmm. I need to keep more avocados on hand. Jack Vale, what, why am I not remembering that? They're probably newer ones. They're probably just, oh. yeah, all, that, is he the new one that wears like those um, pit viper glasses? Is that who Jack Vale is? Oh my gosh, I'll bet you <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's one of his favorite Whoa, characters. Whoa, Mackie, look how, See how there's a bubble coming out? Sorry, mom. Of the nozzle right there. Sometimes I just tap it off on the side, so I don't have to deal with it when it is this comes out onto red the... and gold one. Is this one that you would just add like um, maybe some neon blue to? Right, like I can just even do it right now. Yeah, like right on top of it. Perfect. Okay. I like everything avocado. Has anybody? Yeah, I do take liquid B12, Does Terry. Cook with avocado. I don't know. Maybe cook I just got issues. Wait, what do you mean, like avocado oil? I use I like mostly. This right now to save you. Don't do it. <laughs> no. Just listen. So I was trying to make dinner and I had avocado in the recipe, right? And it was so hard. And I was like, okay, I wonder if there's some hack online. I did the hack to soften the avocado. It softened it, but- Was it gross? It was, gross. It was so disgusting. Oh, I really? literally gagged. It was so Ew. nasty. Oh what, what was the hat? So what was the hat? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna add some copper to it. Wrap and cook it in the microwave. Oh, to make it, oh. to soften it. So oh. it totally softened it. And then it was it gross. Just, it was, was yucky. Really yeah, I was it like soapy too. or something? It just was, it like was mushy cool. and nasty. nasty. Mackie, what else are you gonna put it in your pool so there? Too. Oh, you I, wanna know what I did? Probably I more. I um, I did that. This By the way, here. see how I'm swooping this out of the pool? You just kind of pull that. That's really up pretty. and around, and you can wipe that. I did this one, and I did a pull like a really hard like like this. Where you like move it more? Yeah. Drag it more. I need to drag more to pull up more colors. I would drag these two, like, out of that pool. Those two would be Definitely amazing. yellow. That would be so pretty. See, 100% you would not have to go back already and poke these holes out. But our um, flaming lights above us are really making that. All right. That looks so pretty. Okay, let me pull like mom said. So instead of just stamping, I forgot that I need to be stamping and pulling. So you kind of do this and you swipe it through. Which, by the way, since this is upside down, you can wipe that right now and not have to deal with it later. which I can do better than that, but I'm not going to right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in what people eat avocado with that's not like the traditional like avocado toast, guacamole. Right, like, me too, because I'd like to use it in a lot more things. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel I just like throw on salad. burgers but, like, is now very traditional. Yeah. I have it in burgers. Yeah. Maggie, it's funny. This needs iridescent so for I'm sure. I'm a little delayed right now, but look those at that big bubbles bubble. looked like a Boop. smiley face in there when you. Oh really? I missed it. Over. 
I wasn't even paying attention. So this is great because you can still add your colors. Or like a surprise face. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, that was satisfying, Mac. What? I'm, I'm like a little bit behind you, but when you pop the big oh, bubble. Oh, the big bubble. <laughs> Oh, I love the white gold you just put in there. I know. So that's what's so fun is you can customize it then with your... Like, that looks beautiful, yeah, I think. Yeah, and not doing much, right? I you don't just... think I need to do much more because I like just the little thin flashes of blue. And you know what? It will, just so you guys know, it does draw on its own. Other, so... yeah, other colors will pull up and out. Yep. They work, but that's it's beautiful. It's working in the I love background. That together oh do you want to show that one yours yeah i was just yeah. about to pull it so what you probably did here is made sure to put the iridescent on top of lapis or and or red and that's what gets that bright violet flaming violet color and i did a very fresh pull and i of pulled lapis, it like a big which i'm gonna try pull. and try and do that right here actually do you want me to get you why don't i get you another one of those um one of those blinks. Oh, because you like this one? I do love that one. I won't touch it then. I mean, I would be one where I would do it all day long with blinks, and then I would cover it with resin. For sure. Just because, just so stunning. I'm going to move this guy and a couple of these so we can watch the other one dry. Don't you love the pieces Jean picked out for this? I do. So here's a couple. Jean, do we have any um, yeah. solid brass hoop type things on our on our website? Uh, for the blank? Yeah. No. Um, I think we got, we got all of them here. So oh, pretty. We didn't have very many of those got from production, and so this is it. Oh yeah, just add everything. I'm gonna Every add everything thing, back except for the in. moss. And um, I'm actually gonna keep the yellow next to the red so that it's super bright. Mackie, I was gonna say, Jean put it up on line, she, or she put it up there, but this is just a good suggestion. You guys should be buying the solid, or buying the blanks pack. For this? Yeah, wait, yes. we should put that up. Yeah, let's pop that up. Do you have the blanks in, yes, in the do have lineup? Yes, we do have Yeah, and it is in the lineup. On here? Yes. Oh, assorted planks. Perfect. Yes, because you will want to do this all non freaking stop. day long. You can't stop. And it's, they're so stunning. Because imagine like that one right there, if you hold that up again. Imagine the earrings. It has just such an incredible pair of earrings, and it's Love. you would not know. I could stare at that all day. Yeah. <clears throat> Put that right there while we do more. Okay, so you guys, I also do B12. I'm just gonna do this for the next 10 hours. Sorry, guys, you're gonna Every have day. to just wait for me to be done. And look, even if, cause like I'm not loving how this is drying here. Yeah. See that? Because after I added it, I just didn't like it as much. I'm going to just re-stamp it. What are you going to re-stamp? Just this one. Oh, that one, yeah. Because it was just all right. And kind of slide it, too. Good. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, iron is another one. Cindy was mentioning it. I am... Um, iron, yeah. Yeah, I'm iron deficient, so I always have to take it every day. Okay. Okay. This a is just like that too. terrible to have to. Oh, Carrie, um, <clears throat> your comment was hidden, but I unhid it. But I want to make sure you're getting a message to your messenger. Make sure you let us know. Okay. Isn't it crazy how many people need to take B12? All right. Like, what is, does that is like a is that like a lack of nutrition in our foods? Because B12 is yeah, B12 is very right. 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 hard to digest to get it into your digestive tract too. Mm -hmm. I think sun, I think sun time that helps, helps B12 produce B12. Also? 
I know it's vitamin right. D, but B12 also. Enough time outside. Yeah, no, I, I don't think it, I don't think the sun gives you B12. I think it helps your body produce it. And B12 oh. is actually um, formulated in the soil. So if your foods are super removed from the soil, like mm -hmm. natural, really good soil, you won't have B12. Let's, in your food. You know so what, yeah, Lorraine, that's an American right. thing. Depends on how Lorraine, Once again. Right? Lorraine was saying this is like an acrylic pour, but on jewelry. Yeah. But it's just backwards. You're just soaking it up. It's like reverse, not backwards. Yeah, it's that's a really good way to describe this technique. You do an, an acrylic pour, and then you just soak up the pattern. We should remind mm -hmm. everyone to check the pin comment for how to order. Ooh. Oh yes, and one. you guys, we have a pinned comment, which I see, a pinned comment on how to order. Thanks, Andrea. Just, just, just because um, I saw a couple comments where it was like 104 for something, but not, like, it needs to say cart 104. Cart or the, 104. Or the, it. oh, it's, Janet. A little yellow yeah, it's too. not gonna. <clears throat> Janet, if you don't get a message into your messenger, go ahead and type what's in between the quotation marks exactly as it's spelled out. Yep. Cart space 104. So let me know. And Andrea, I've been loving your designs lately. I can't even get over them. And I loved your last, like, ooh, Mackie, whoa. I'm behind and I love that yellow. Mm, um, thank you. I love your, your, uh, wrapped loose loop reel that you did the other day so gorgeous if you so guys proud. haven't been to andrea's page or etsy shop or anything you've got to do it she's so talented oh my gosh look at this one wait there's a b12 nasal spray that would be oh. a great way for you to get that into your system look at the one i just made maggie i'm freaking out look over at that. it i'm gonna scooch this up in frame I know, that I know. is Phoenix for so sure. So Phoenix fire. Just keep layering and going, guys, Can we on look your... look at the pool right yeah. now? Just look at the pool. It's amazing. Mm. Just look at it. Would you look at it? Just look at that. Would you look at it? You were talking about the B12 nasal spray. I know, I know of another uh, nasally induced way to get energy. How? I mean, besides cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is what I'm talking about. So oh weird. my well, god. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just joking. Take it with a grain of salt. Yes. Take it with We are a very drug free zone in the vintage, so anything we say, you gotta just. Everyone but Sawyer. Oh, take it very light. I'm yeah. just kidding. We're actually all extremely sober here. We're all sober. We're boring. <laughs> We don't we're even drink, which is very boring. Is caffeine. Yeah, ca sugar. when yeah. we are caffeine. Yeah, actually, the worst drug there is. To be honest. Yerba is. Most yerba is our drug. drug there is. Sugar caffeine. is the most. Yeah, it is. I thought sugar is the worst. You could have it all. Oh, oh you guys should. Sugar. You guys yeah, should also think sugar. about using Rituals um, probiotic because it comes with free. <laughs> 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 you should think about doing rituals. <laughs> I thought you were oh. going down this crazy track. No. <laughs> no. Rituals as in like a brand. Rituals brand. <laughs> Got it. Because I was looking at the vitamin comments. Oofed. Ritual brands, um, supplements, they have pre, um, pro, and postbiotic all in one um, little like biotic you supplement. Have anything on that you're that you are uh just in a tiny corner so i'm going to put this all right i redid my you. pool again because i want to do a couple more all right. stampies you ready for this okay, this is a good opportunity for me to break. choke you okay Whoa. I'm going to, well, I'm going to do one more of these donuts because I'm addicted, but then I'm going to stamp the littles for the stuff up there. So stamp and drag. 
trying to just wiggle it around a bit. Ooh. Look at the pool now that the red mixed in with the... so beautiful. Look at that stamp. Mm. So I'm just going to pull that up to the top instead of stamping it again because I like some of the things that happened on it. Whoa. Okay, I'm a little delayed, but it looks like a butterfly coming out of that pool. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay, I love that. And that's going to dry all really cool oh, Mackie, and, and swirly. It's important to let everybody know this same, it looked the same on natural brass blanks as well. These paints, these are paints and they're opaque, so you'll be, it doesn't matter if it's solid brass blank or a natural brass, it will do the same. There we go. Huh. Set that I am so glad that you guys are help healing each other. That just makes me so happy that this is a good, like this is what should happen when you're painting, right? It's therapy. When I watch painting or I do painting, I, I feel like I heal a little bit every time. I feel like I wanna add some lapis right up here. What I always do is I kind of look at the area where there's the same color and a lot of it, and then I'll fill in because I wanna mimic this blue into that red. And there's plenty of space to do that up here. So I'm gonna add a big stroke of blue. And then some um, violet. Do you guys know anywhere where there's there a go. discount vitamin place? Because vitamins and probiotics and everything can get really expensive. I think it's cheaper to just get the really good one. So then you don't have to buy, like it's a, a combined one. Oh, and that's like why I get the, the rituals because it like a lot of deals too where it's like buy one get one free all the that's, time that's good so you just look out for those deals and mm -hmm. I, I still don't too, have good luck with those because I had oh. to replace some and you don't have to get the same kind just like it was just like the basic like one you'll find in the store we'll do deals a lot I just don't trust the ones in the store as much. Wait, they're not you, as. Do you know that um, a lot of the times they're the not B12 as science -backed. Navel spray mask. It's by prescription. You might want to ask Drew. Oh wow. And Abby. Yeah, I wonder if that would work better than the sublingual. Yeah. Well, from what I've been reading here from the ladies, mm -hmm. they said it's much harder to digest just yeah. taking it orally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why they have you hold it under your tongue is so that it like absorbs that way, but yeah. Yeah, but through your nose, that's that like the fastest. Aw, like, thanks, Robin. Memory, right? These bring me joy too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I agree. So cool. Okay. This is so aptly named, Jean. The Phoenix Fire. I mean, this, if this is the combination, you guys want to use this exact combination. You can't leave anything out or you won't. So grab right, your paints. We swapped a few different kinds of blues in there, yeah. some different kinds of yellows, different metallics before we- We worked pretty hard stuff. on this one. You can just, um, the list, Sawyer posted. Mm -hmm. So just find the list, go into your paint supply, get them out and start playing because if you want like a really affordable, fun booth starter, like st do paints with tons of blanks and just sell those as earrings and pendants yeah. and people will just love to search through just only searching through the colors you know all of the color variations oh for sure and if you go back through our paint sets we do a different paint set every single week so you can look at the different color combinations of the paint party yeah, packs yeah, the jewelry collections that we have so yeah, if you want to know what ones to what work ones to together. use, because I know a ton of you have the master set. That you have every single paint of ours, so just go through that. And if you look in the descriptions, the individual colors are listed that are included in the sets. Yeah. So you can break it down that that way if you want to. Yeah, and you can also use Control F in the comments 
And that will take you to a specific comment. So if you... I also just posted the game. Right, but I'm talking yeah. about in old ones. Yeah. If they want to find the list of yeah. paints. Or they, they can just go to the live shop. And oh, yeah. Duh. Go to the live shop. They're all in there. <laughs> <laughs> look at the descriptions and then... Whoa. Look oh, at that. Ridiculous. The whole thing is shaking. I know. It's crazy. All right. It's like an earthquake. Good enough. You know what they said? Idaho's been having earthquakes, but I haven't felt one yet. Oh, I forgot to use these. Dunk those. Where's the fault line at? So why don't I just you go don't have through? To, just show I'm because everything, all the assembly right? is yeah. very There's simple. Except Jean is going to hop on in a second and show how to do this. <laughs> So I'll keep this here, but I will pop the, oops, let's zoom out. Jean, are you ready like that? to sure. um, yes. do that in a second? Maggie's going to quickly go through the assembly. Okay, yeah. Let me know. All right, so what I've got here is one of the donuts plus the triple leaf drop and one of the art metal flower cutouts with this branch that Jean actually did herself. So that's done, hand done by Jean. Cast and that piece, right? Yeah. yeah. Casting? Yeah, it was a vintage element and then I wire wrapped it and we cast Ooh, it. Yeah, love that. So beautiful. Cool, so there's that then. This one is, there are already three holes in this, and you'll just have to add the top hole right there. And do your crystal, and then just hang three more of those. Hey Doodle, can I say this one right here? That is just white gold and um, iridescent violet on both the donut and the drop. White golden iridescent violet. Okay. Yeah. I just poured them both on and swirled Same with around. this back. White gold and iridescent. That comes copper, so you can totally use, leave that copper as well. There's that. So that one actually is pre done, pre put together. Then your earrings here are filigree drop with another triple leaf, but going the other direction. Super beautiful. Then we've got these really fun Grecian little coin earrings. When you said Grecian, I, it immediately took me to the, um, the music hand scene where they're like, one Grecian urn. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how this one is um, drying. The one we did on screen. There's the one from the picture and there's the one that's all dried up now. Dried up in a good way. <laughs> hey Mac, while you're showing that, um, if any of you, I gotta share something with you guys. If any of you have had trouble sleeping as you've gotten older or whatever, um, I recently, after like 15 years, can sleep. And you're not even going to believe what I did. This is not an infomercial. <laughs> I took the phone out of my whole room. Oh my gosh, shocking. It's almost like I told you to do that like two years ago. You did? Yeah, Sorry. I did. <laughs> that oh my gosh. That could have gotten me a it lot more sleep. Wow, so right. had to crazy. <laughs> Which is funny because I didn't even hear it from Mackie. I don't even That's know where so I heard it from. That's so ridiculous. It resonated though because I heard, heard it once from that, her, right? and then I heard yeah, it two years right, later. Yeah, right, for sure. I heard it again. Just so you know, because there is something to be said for that, because people, like, 
people ground. They put their bare feet on the grass for like 10 minutes okay. to reduce their electric. Um, what, do you, what do you call that when you're grounding? You're good to go, Jane. You're Please. reducing your yeah, electric yeah. charge, yeah. You're at I, uh, you're ready? I, would, I always play grass volleyball barefoot. You do. I'll bet you feel so much healthier. Yeah, Everyone really walks nice. around barefoot like 90% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I heard a phone. Anyway, charge your phone okay. in the bathroom, not hey by your bed. I heard a phone. Okay. So, how do I see what's, okay, so this is where our. Yeah, do you want some space? Do you want to actually I just do it need... or do you want to describe it? Well, I'm just going to do this really quick well, because it's I'll... super easy. Let me pull this, um, give you another surface. Well, it's, it's fine because I can really just do it right here. Or... But I do need some Loctite. There, it's right here. Behind the Oh, it's up. hiding. Okay, there we go. So this connector can be used in a lot of different ways. Um, I envisioned it as a bracelet. Let me just take my wash off here. Um, I envisioned it as a bracelet, so you can take a chain and form a Y here, or a couple different connectors, or you could use leather to finish it off or even a beaded strand but it really it could be a necklace piece or any way that you wanted to finish it but i was thinking bracelet so i really love the way these stacked up here i grab these but if you don't glue it these pieces will move freely so what I did was just figure out my alignment, which you're gonna have this top of the loop is just resting on top of this brass element here. So I'm gonna just make this whole thing. So all we're gonna do is put a little dab of Loctite right in the center. Of each of these. Do we have another one? Uh huh. Loctite? Mm hmm. Is it out? Mm hmm. You want a brand new one? Yes. That'd be awesome. This is satisfying for a lot of people. See if I can get. Oh, wait. I Was clogged it. Just, it. I think it was just clogged. It's because we left the lid off. Yeah. Imagine that. Okay. Sorry, I lied, didn't need a new one. Okay, so just putting a dab on each of these connectors. Let me get these lined up. These are all kind of handmade wire elements, so it's important to do them at the same time because they're not exactly symmetrical. And then what I want is just the loop connected the loop touching it, and these resting on both sides. <laughs> Robin said it's locked tight. It's locked tight, yep. And Stephanie and Cindy said hi. Hello. I felt kind of bad because I missed helping the gals um, clean up here, but I did spend a lot of time on the master class. Oh wait! For tomorrow. You we were serious when we were teaching. <laughs> no, I no, I we didn't think you were serious. Up after you, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning up after me. It's our favorite part of the week. Yes. Day we should say. Mm hmm. Um. Wait. What was I gonna? I was gonna okay. say something about this design. There. It's just really. You know how sometimes you nest things and they look pretty cool. Yeah. These just are stunning. They they're just so seem like, like they're meant to go together. Yeah, they're so floral and deco. So. And you know what I would especially wear together? The filigree earrings and this bracelet. Oh my gosh. Those, that is such a pair. So since I took a little bit of um, time getting this lined up, it kind of squished the glue 
around a little bit. And this is not gonna be like structural to your jewelry. It's just to make sure these don't slide around. Right? So in your kit, you're gonna find one of these heavier jump rings. It's heavier than the rest of them. So this is what you want to use to connect it because this is gonna be the, the fulcrum or the main focal point of the bracelet. So um, we wanna make sure that that one's a little stronger. But that's it. Now we just let these dry. And Jean, you, there are like nine, eight or nine thin ones, thinner yes. ones. And, and one, one thicker thin. one. Yeah. Yep, and it's just a little bit slightly different diameter. So I'm just gonna set these aside to dry. But that's it, oh, pretty Monica simple. Oh, said she took a, she can't wait to get Oops. this packed. She took a workshop with Heather. Oh, awesome. And thought that some of their, those pieces will look great with this. Oh, awesome. I agree. Again, Heather, love her. Oh yeah, Lori, I did see that video. That was great. There's always like, and I don't know how much Loctite is, but it's always good to preserve oh, yes. your. Yes, like, what but is, tip, I was like, price. I was half tempted to, what's well, about the convenience, convenience right? Convenience, because if you're out, you're out. You're I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I need to pull her video up to figure out how to use the rest of it, yes, right? Yes, for sure. All right. Well, we're all done. What do we need to set up for next? Okay. Are so we I doing mixes? What we're going to do is Ainsley's um, two Ainsley's two mixes. I think that's good. Yes, right? right now. Okay. Ainsley. I'm coming. Love these. Right. Let me move this out of the way and let's scooch. This first one, if you can pull that You want me to pull that, that this way? way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do a little switcheroo ski, and Ainsley's going to show you this stunning spot. And it might be zoomed in, so you can zoom out a little bit. It definitely and is Since it's in. already laid out, you can probably just explain everything that you Oops. love about it. I definitely will. I'm just going to pop it. I thought I turned that off. Where did that go? The comments? Yeah, one's highlighted for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Oh, you just clicked on it. Cool. Is that the one where they said, I'm like the best person ever? I don't know. I didn't I even just read that it. up. <laughs> okay, guys. So we have another limited, fully loaded design mix for you guys today too. But this first one we have is Woodland Dusk. And we included a bracelet. That one is so loaded. And ladies. some finished earrings. We like to always include those things for you guys. Um, so green girl piece right here, as well as right here, which I painted. I also painted these two pieces of filigree for you. And then also painted this piece as well with an ombre effect. Um, inspiration is I wanted to create a feel of basically like um, a foresty feel, but like, you know, the sun is going down. You maybe have just like the slightest view of the stars, but overall just like more rounded and down to earth feeling and that's why I have like these purples and the blues in here even though you wouldn't normally associate them with like the forest so Ainsley Lori was saying can you do a mix with the silver it was sold out by the time she watched the replay uh, so actually one of the ones I started over there would be perfect for that great well, so we'll do a silver one. yeah we can definitely do a silver one and Stephanie likes your blouse. Oh, thank you. It's new. Is it? I love yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. This is, this would be stunning. Here I go again. Oh, this is not angled quite properly. There, there we go. go. You can adjust that how you want once you see it. That looks amazing. Yeah. On I figured this would work well for today, this blouse would. Yeah. So that's why I wore it. Perfect. And I like the complimentary because it looks like 
It looks like it even could be part of it, you know? Yeah, it looks like um, a brooch of yeah. some sort. Yeah. Because right. the, the chain just kind of goes away a little bit. We have this vintage piece for you guys as well. And then these two gorgeous branches. And what was the name of this one again? It's up, right? Woodland Dusk. Woodland Dusk. I'm going to look real quick and see how many are left. Sounds good. I know before we started over, half of them were sold. Yeah. And there's only 10 of these guys. Mm -hmm. Yep, so there's only a few available left. Oh, also we just got these here. Corian sent me a package of a whole bunch of stuff I can use for my mixes, which was great. Very helpful because I'm like trying to include different things all the time. And it can be hard when we have like a lot of the same things. So for definitely sure. helped. I love it when we get a warehouse package. Yes. We're all like so fighting cute. to open it. Was, it was like packed up in this bag and she's like four Ainsley. She, wrote she had a heart on it. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. She's the best. But yeah, this is this one. Okay. And we're you bringing back our fancy forward. tray for our other mix. Which is Flourish Meadows. And get most I could get lost in, in this one. Yeah. So we have so much in this one as is, as you can tell. But specifically, I want to point out this, which is Russian gold. And then also we have some bezels for you guys with some glass, as well as another one. And then we have Swarovski right here. And then I did paint this mushroom for you guys. And then there's also another mushroom that's printed. Oh yeah, it's right here. I love that technique on the mushroom. Did you just um, dapple the top of it? So I actually, so I did an ombre effect and I started with the, I think ochre yellow right here. And then I painted this whole section with that. Then I used the bristle brush to go in with the white and create a gradient here. Then I did um You did a lot of work coral. for this one. It was really quick actually. There's the only three It left. sounds like a lot. There's only three left of those. So I did coral here up to petalite here. And then once all that dried and I wiped off any like spillage I had here, I waited for it to be completely dry, came back in with our white, and I took a eye pin, and then I dapped it with the eye pin to get more of a speckly, spotty feel for it. I really love that hand painting on that. Yeah, it was super fun, too, and easy, because obviously I did a bunch of them. Yeah. Just wait for it to dry. And did them all at the really same time. weighty pendant. It is. Yeah, it's it, a lot thicker than, like, our mushroom blank. Let me just it's put this so in my big. hand so you guys can see just its size. It's very big. That's why I haven't used it yet. Is because of its size but it's super cool you do a lot of cool stuff with it i love the size hold it up compared to the um centerpiece you're wearing and it's oh yeah yeah it's really like nice actually that would look so good as a companion long necklace mm -hmm. with the with that if you wore it just a little lower yeah Oh. You know what? I don't think this... Okay, this is not carnival glass. It's kind of like an op opaline with that carnival glass type of glaze. Would you say it's I more have, contemporary than carnival glass? Like It is um, more contemporary, but it's not that much more contemporary. This is just such a... do you think that was made? Oh, my gosh. In your opinion. Well, it's lusterware, oh, okay. which is... Lusterware is Japan, and that was like occupied Japan so I'm thinking you know like 50s mm -hmm. carnival glass could be dated it they produced it from I don't know what the 40s to the 80s 70s they, they yeah they produced that for a long time 
I might be off on those specific dates. I'm yeah. way more versed on jewelry dates than I am actual glassware. The other thing I wanted to point out to you guys is we do have a finished bracelet in here. And we did include ear wires so that you could have easy finished earrings. And then also I included a bunch of tiny little charms so that if you wanted to add it to this bracelet or maybe have a chain at home that you really like charm bracelets to use, you can add all these cute little charms to the bracelet. Have a cute hey, little unicorn, sleep. dragonfly, hearts, another mushroom. The rose earrings. Yes. So I really love, I think you could dangle that leaf that was that you paired right there. Oh yeah, you definitely could. I think that could. would be so pretty. And would you paint that? Those roses? I would personally paint them. They're you so stunning like that this, you this cuz right now they have a shadow on them, but they're so pretty. They're super stunning. And they're Let me already see if a I can stud, just they're already a stud earring. Yeah. And there are holes in them already too. Pretty yeah. punched for you. They look dark there, but they're really not that dark. There we go. Just had to get the right light on them. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these are gorgeous. And I just think paint would just make them like pop even more than they already do. Absolutely. They're super pretty. Yes, for sure, Nancy. And the Emily in that, in that gold rose as well. So that rose yes. does have that same Miriam Haskell plating on it. Because this is a rose from that famous designer I was telling you about. And Good that goodness. was from their collection. And Ainsley, you thought about maybe a bracelet or a ring or even a pendant. Yeah. And the hole in the center allows you to do that. To, you can wire that to a ring. Or you can make a bail uh, pendant. Or you can wire it onto a filigree bracelet. It would be gorgeous as well. But that is not... That's not any ordinary finish. That is like an incredible, warm, rosy, Russian it's gold. It's amazing. Plate. Finish. And yeah, that I agree right with there the choker. Sells for fifteen dollars alone, just the rose, just by itself. When you put it into jewelry, you can triple that because that's Our just an incredible. Camera is being piece. weird for some reason. Oh, here it goes. It was not sinking for some reason for a second. I was like, what's going on? Okay. And then also Green Girl and anything else that I missed? I think that's the gist of it though. Yeah. These are great. I hope you guys like these. And I have, I started the other ones for Friday and one of them is amazing so far. So. I'm real. I always really look forward to your mixes because they're just so well thought out, you know. So I think what we're gonna do is probably move on to Mackie's. Um, I'm gonna actually use this platter while Mackie's getting ready and coming back. And I'm going to. You guys can. We should back out and show this platter. Well, here. It's just backed out. We can just go full screen. Oh yeah, you can show it, and then show the bottom, the bottom silky. How? Where did you find that anyway, Mackie? Holy moly! What happened? Your platter. Oh yeah. Okay. Is it like a cake stand? It yeah. It's like yeah, a cake. Yeah, it is kind of like, oh, like that. that. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a cake stand. Okay. These necklaces the just have such good vibes. It, don't they? You would have been thinking about it forever. Oh, she. <laughs> how much was it? Five bucks. Five bucks. <laughs> Gotta love oh, garage sales. that one? They do the wrong one. Yeah, you did. Thank you. This one is the one that I'm wearing currently. The color variation. Mackie, we put the fairy on the platter. Fairy planner. There we go. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Mackie, no. Are it's you not gonna showing because it's <clears throat> right in that oh. little you might need the picture to... is. How's I that? Might be behind Better. Did you already swap the product? And can you swap the product? Yeah, I can swap it. Swap it over. 
And then uh, Mac, are you just, are you gonna show how to create the centerpiece or what are you gonna show for the yeah, I'm fairy gonna, designs? I'm gonna um, do the riveting. Oh, cool. So we're just gonna set it there for a minute until you set up your station. And then we can slide it out of the way. Do you want to, um, we could take take a minute to um, feature like the chain cuts and the oh, yeah. things too. Earrings. Whenever you feel like that would be a good time to fit it in. Probably we now. To pick those up. Yeah. She can set that up and I can show you guys the other extra goodies. Oh yeah, because people have been asking about the chain cuts. And there's, Sawyer, do you know if we have more of the natural glass chain? Yeah, we should we should have enough to make however much we want. Okay, so looks like we can do both chain cuts, Ainsley. Except I don't have a natural brass example here. <clears throat> I do. You do? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, and then here's the finding. I have a finding you have stick. Every, I think this is the one. I did this one that I poured in the wrong bag again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So this is our end of spool one. We featured it quite a few times where we've laid it out, but we're just gonna give you the opportunity now again. If you wanna pick up some chains for your designs, now would be the time. Um, super great. Even if the lengths are shorter, there's so much you can do with that, but most of them are pretty long and easily you can make a necklace. So whether if it's short, you can make earrings or bracelets, and if it's longer, um, necklaces and such but overall really great to design with it's great because you get such a good variety yeah you do mm -hmm. you get you don't know what you're gonna get we do have some that frequently appear and also you're gonna get rose gold which is just can can you Let's a lot this. of the times why don't you go ahead and lay out um let's open that pack for the people that haven't bought them yet and let's just do it on this. And you can kind of show how much chain you will get you get out of that. It's quite weighty. Give me a second so I can just give you guys a feel for the length. And this is, it's not normally going to come quite as tangled as this. We've just opened and closed this bag so many times it's got tossed around. But really there's not that many bad knots in here. Goodness. Wait, how much do you have done? Like just a tiny bit? Just a tiny bit of um oh, that's this a... one's a finished one. Sometimes we do get finished ones in here, so you don't even have to do the class part. This one's finished. And they'll all be different. Yep. You're not gonna get the same variety of chains every single time. It's a luck of the draw. But they're all great anyway. I like using multiple chain styles in one necklace. Yeah. Super fun to do. Well, Robin, Robin Nunn got one that there was a four, one that was four yards long. Oh my long. gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> Some, I've, I've noticed sometimes, sometimes you just like pull, like pull one when you're like taking it. Oh. And it's like, sometimes they're bunched up so you don't even know. We'll yeah, usually we clip, don't know. We'll usually cl like, <clears throat> clip, like clip some up to try and avoid like having too much of one chain style. Yeah. But like, but That's like yeah. So awesome. I've, I've pulled some and it's like <clears throat> sometimes I swear they just put like half the spool yeah. when they were sweeping <laughs> off the They're table. Like, oh, I don't feel like putting this. I don't away. Want to <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, it's like 
Sometimes they're like 20 feet long, and I'm just like, what's going on? Well, if it's tangled, I, I'm i I'm yeah, sure maybe, I might have said, just... don't spend the time untangling yeah. it. Because yeah, right. the labor costs more mm -hmm. to do that, than yes. to, you know, to untangle it. <clears throat> That's funny. That's I'm happy for you, Robin. That would have been a fun little surprise. Okay, those are all stretched out. A lot of these are hanging way off the end here, but this is the overall like what you'll get and just like the length that there is like this is most of these are filling this up. That's a spicy noodle soy. <laughs> Jeez, Matthew was like putting them and falling off the chopstick. Onto uh, your lap. Try to touch it. <laughs> it's super slippery. Did you already do everything or not? No, we yet? just did the chain. Oh, That's no. okay because we we can just pull the other ones up. Wow. Yeah, we don't have to dump everything. No, show them. I just wanted you to see how much chain. I wanted everybody to see how much chain there was that they got. There's one thing holding the package up. It's another thing. Oh, wait. I don't know if we have findings as a... We do. Findings variety? I mean, not here. Yeah, Jean said she kept it in there. I, did. I put it on there, so... It might, we might have to refresh it if you added it later. Yes, it, you will have to. Okay. Because I did. Well, we can for now do the natural brain chat. Uh, natural natural brass brain. chain cuts. Natural brain brass. <laughs> Natural brain chat. I was talking to you quickly, clearly. Mackie said yeah, that. Call it when you're smart, but you didn't go to college. It's just natural brain. Natural brains. brain. That's natural brain. brain. That's me. Vintage natural brains. That's our college. Except for Sawyer. Yeah, Sawyer. Sawyer and Logan and Drew. Mackie's the only one that didn't. Maggie uh, followed in my footsteps. I only Logan, went to Logan, two and a half years. Logan went for like lame stuff, like medicine and art. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. Oh no. Yeah. Um, Why do we need those in our society? Yes, it's only serious. philosophy, right, today? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, Drew's the only one that did something practical. We benefit every week from Drew's. True. <laughs> yes, and Logan's, and yours. Thank you all. There's that, and then we'll switch over to the findings. This is oh, gonna be that one would be very similar. So very to, similar to the other one, like if we laid it out. Yes, very similar in length and everything, but it's all natural. Oh, us. Robin said she had one piece that was four yards last package. That's you were in the other room. You were. Oh. We already spent like five minutes talking about that. You were <laughs> eating your sweet <laughs> potato noodles that you yeah. made. Just joking. She was chipmunking. Chipmunking. Dang, every time I every time I hear about chip monkey, I always think of uh, of beard meets food. That's this YouTube channel oh Tay and I've been watching. Gosh, I it's like this British that. guy that's a competitive eater and just goes around like demolishing like food contests. <laughs> but some sometimes food contests will let you like chip. They call it chip monkey at the end of it, where like as long as you have it in, in your, your mouth, mouth, it counts. <laughs> So, you, well, you chip on so you like stuff as much in your mouth as you can so you can finish the You have to keep challenge. telling your story, sorry. But I just finished the story. You have to swallow it, though. You have to finish it, though, right? Chipmunking. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but like, I, like when the time stops, you can have it all in your mouth. Like, you could, like, Oh, like, if have, you like, have to finish like, it within a certain amount of time, mouth, it, you just like, if it's in your mouth, yeah, you've completed the yeah, challenge. Yeah. Okay, okay. guys, right there. Is the breakfast bar that Mackie put up that turned into lunch bar? Where? Oh, and there. I just pointed. Like, oh, right above my head. Yes. Where? We're is like a bougie unicorn? company now because we have a breakfast bar, like oh you know, like oh, all yeah. the big, the big mega companies have. <laughs> <laughs> no, Doug. M Mackie did. Do Ooh, it. sweet it potato myself, glass though. noodles. <laughs> Monica, I am with you on those. Those are so delicious. I love Korean food. It's so good. True. Can someone 
to find my unicorn necklace? Where'd you put that? It's Did you put that somewhere? I'm just wearing it. Oh, you're wearing it. Okay. <laughs> like, what the Where heck? The heck is my unicorn <laughs> Someone necklace. stole it. Where's my blouse? Oh, we has it. Okay, I think we can switch over. I'll take this you off. You know what, Matt? I would have loved to record that sound bite and use it as an introdu introduction to one of our videos. Where's my unicorn necklace? Does someone thought who seen my unicorn necklace? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Was it Korean barbecue? Because that's my favorite. She said Korean glass sweet potato noodles. That's what yes. I just I just made some of those during my little mini break. Oh, yeah. Watch out. And they spice. I'm all food. energized now. Oh, Maggie, did you see this? I did this. Look how it looks on there. Oh, so pretty. Also, guess what? I figured out why I was so tired. I had nightmares last night Ooh. about um, I w was going on my first cruise and it was like Poseidon or whatever and it was like <clears throat> me and Mo and Scott were like in the bottom of the boat and all the water was pouring That's in. That's horrifying. I think I could justify never going on a cruise just for that fear. Yeah. Yeah. You just hear, you just hear the Where'd my mat go? You hear oh, the here. um the band in the Titanic like playing like <laughs> My Heart Will Go On on their <laughs> violins. On their violins and cellos and whatever. Yes. And your Can someone take this big A freaking rock? But I hate having to move around because it's like twenty pounds. Yeah, it's so it doesn't look like it'd be that heavy, but you grab it and it's like it's really a it's, it's fluorite. So whenever you guys see this, you'll know the way we got it. We got it in Tucson, and we love it. And I wish, when we go back, we've got to go back and get more fluoride. Is it fluoride slabs. because you find it on the floor? <laughs> in that case, we've got a ton of fluoride here. Where's wa Where's there? Where's my wallet? You ever feel like sometimes when, <laughs> when things are named, somebody just was really tired that day, and they're like, "Yeah, fluoride. let's just call it fluoride." All right, guys, so I have here the fairy necklace. I'm just going to do a couple of parts um, demonstration on the center, how to rivet this all on. Also, I was thinking anyone who just watched uh, the master class with Sawyer on soldering, this is the perfect chance to try out that technique. Are those... Are those, um, what are those, what metal are those wings though? They're castings. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, why we, I we did, able, that's why I did riveting. Oh, Never Mackie. mind. Mackie. Don't solder this one. <clears throat> Rivet this one. Mackie, before you do this, um, I've got an ordering question comment. So again, you guys, you can order off the live shop or you can order off here. It doesn't matter. We combine all your orders and all shipping every day, every item is free. And you won't get a bunch of packages, you're just gonna get one package. We ship on Tuesdays and we ship on Fridays. So um, yeah, order away, order however you want. The live shop's fine, here's fine. Whichever works the best for you. We will take it either way, so just, Enjoy the demo and shop on here or there. Okay, so this is super easy as well. I'm not gonna demonstrate, but I will give you the measurement. So when you get your bracelet, I'll show you the bracelet first since that's uber, uber easy. It looks, I love it when it looks super complicated, but was stinking simple to make. Here's your complete kit, by the way, how it'll look when you receive it. There's all your amazingness. Okay. <clears throat> I'll be getting to this pendant here in a sec. That's funny, that was all hooked together. All right, so here is your butterfly here. Now, this is normally a pendant um, pendant setting. So what you do is you're actually going to clip this off. 
I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe. Dang, I hate that. It's like worse than not sneezing. All right, so here is that. We've now made it um, not a pendant. We're actually going to punch this about, right about four, four to five, 4.5. Um, wait, let's do millimeters. That's what I was doing before. Half a centimeter in, almost exactly. So you're actually gonna punch it way farther in than you usually would, just for a normal jump ring. And there's a purpose to that. And that is, that is so you can get that to hang really nice and snug. I need to tighten this, see how it's all, there we go. Jeez Louise, this sucker doesn't want to come off. There we go. So after you've set your um, stone, you're just going to line this up with that already nice big hole right there. And you're just gonna string your medium size jump ring actually big for this kit. This is the biggest size in your kit. Um, right through and that's gonna hold everything perfectly snug. And look how the, it like barely moves at all. See that? Isn't that so nice? And you didn't have to do any riveting or gluing. That's always ideal. <clears throat> then once you've done that, you actually just slide the chain through and leave it. You can totally clip that off and save that for something, but I kind of liked the weight that it added. Kind of was a cool little feel for the bracelet. So that's all you do there. Now I'm going to show you how to get your wings on your pendant. So grab your setting, your big oval setting and your four wings. and your rivets, four rivets. Okay. All right, so this is all we need to focus on right now. Now something to keep in mind, which I initially intended to do this, but then I um, forgot to actually, but instead of punching a hole down there, like if you want that ring to hang lower, you can actually <coughs> leave this loop on your setting and make that the bottom loop, if that makes sense. So looks wise, I don't know, either one works great, whichever you prefer. But for now, I'm just going to do it like that. And what I did was I'm punching a few holes and there's, there's a science to it. And that's why I'm going through this with you right now. So we want to see that first rivet, ignore that hole right there. We'll be punching that later. But for now, we wanted this to really line up in the top third, top third of the pendant, because that's just what was visually the most appealing when I was designing. So we'll go from the bottom of this setting prong right there, see that prong? So we'll measure from there to the center of the rivet, looks like about right in between three and a half yeah, three and a half millimeters, pretty much exactly. You could push it to four though. Let's push it to four just to make it easier 
to fit that hole in later. So we'll go here. Oh shoot. And I'm gonna need a Sharpie marker. Coming up. Thank you. Can it be smaller than that? Nope. <laughs> Thank you. This we should keep on the desk prep list too. Yeah, for sure. All right. So bottom of the prong. One, two, three, four. Right about there. That may have been a little closer to five, but that's also okay. We'll just do five just to make it simple. So we see our little dot there, see that? Okay. Make sure you're making your dot on the outer rim because this rim is just for holding the cameo. All right, right there. There we go. All right, so start with those. Let's start punching those first. Punch. Oh yeah, Robin. I don't know how long ago you commented that, but I'm making some really pretty cool bracelets on on Friday, so definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, that's just about perfect, which is saying something for me, because usually nothing is perfect up in here. Alrighty, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and rivet that first set of wings. So set as in just the tops, okay? So I'm just gonna do the tops for now. Alrighty, and we're pulling from the back. So let's pull this on. I'm gonna move some of these goodies up here. myself some space so here we go make sure your smooth um, edges on the top and then we're gonna strain that oh you know what I need to punch that again because I had pulled in a little extra metal clipping did it opposite from the back and the wing is going in behind not in front of the setting so that should look kind of like that all right now really important you want to pinch your fingers down, and I'm gonna zoom in so we can get a nice close-up view of this. But pinch that all down so nothing is jiggling around too much. I um, always like to take out all of the space that I can. Now we're going to do our credit card thickness clip, okay. And I'm actually gonna use our, our smaller um, hammer and I'm gonna start by doing the 
round side so it mushrooms, starts to mushroom. And then I'm gonna just keep switching back and forth between the flat and the mushroom side. So Mackie, yeah. what's really cool about the fact that you're riveting these on mm -hmm. is that it, the, the dragonfly wing is a casting and the setting is a stamping so you could not solder that because the casting would melt. So riveting is yes. just another really amazing way to make a cold connection that um, not going, doesn't require yeah. any heat, but it's super permanent. If you, when you do metal to metal, it's much harder to like to use Loctite on something like this because you're going to, um, <clears throat> you're gonna be having those stick out you know mm -hmm. so you want a really nice secure connection more stress on it right? more stress yeah. on it yeah yeah it's not like it's just sitting on top of the main pendant where you already have anytime things are going to be holding weight you want to get those secured as tight and oh, sound good. as possible did you see monica's comment Mm -mm. She riveted for the first time, and she does not know why she let it intimidate her. Oh, I know. Isn't that such... It's so easy. Like Once you do it, you're right? like, why yes, did I sure. not do that? Well, I remember... I remember the very first time I riveted, and I'm like, what? Yeah. Why like, did wait. I wait this long? <laughs> and then I always just hold this up and kind of look and make sure those are going up at a nice, even level well i think it can be intimidating if you don't know like what wider size True. what whole size yes. but we are eliminating we did all the work yes you we just did buy the rivets and buy the whole punch and then that's all you need yeah absolutely <laughs> okay so this is <clears throat> super duper solid that's I'm, not going anywhere for the okay. um the eyelet rivets you know the rivets with holes like the yes holes in them? yeah uh, for one of like the whatever side projects I was working on before, um, I started spending all my time with Taya. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I made like a. Well, we have Apollo. I like yeah. repurposed. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I re I repurposed some like a weird old player old pair of flyers or something to make one of those like. You know where they have like the spheres on both ends pliers. And you like put them together. Mm -hmm. I made like I. I don't know if it's like something they make, but. I made that, and it was like a little perfect jig to just like clamp them together. Oh, nice! Like and then it did the eyelet. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, That's so cool. do you see how <laughs> I'm? Um, this is right? the same mm -hmm. wing, but I'm making it look smaller, and different by, um, just pushing it in more. And. What I'm going to do is punch a hole in the wing, and then I'll use that as uh, my little, let's see, let's measure this. This will be... I feel like everybody's so zen right seven, now, because we're like... Two, three, four, oh, five, oh, five, five. We actually <laughs> It's Maggie's eight, doing seven. it. It's a relaxing... Well, just the organization, I think, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that did help. This is about eight. Eight millimeters. In. The funny thing is that, like, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I'll start out, because it's, I mean, it's pretty early. It's 11, but it's still kind of mm -hmm. early in the day. Sometimes I start out in kind of a mood, and then, without fail, right when I get to the paint portion, mm -hmm. I'm always like immediately cured. I don't know if anyone watches enough that you can tell. <laughs> it's, it's like therapy. But like, yeah, it it's so calming. You go from like everyday life and you just escape. It's better than a good movie. It's better than, you know, like yoga. You, Cause you're just sitting there and your mind is, you can just wander. 
you can go to cool places. You can follow the patterns and the paint and it just feels amazing. It does. Okay, so a fun way to get these exact, by the way, is get your first, which I'm gonna measure that again, make sure that's right. It's looking about seven and a half, middle to middle. Yeah, eh, yeah, seven and a half or eight. But if you wanna get them exact, line up your holes crosswise and then you can just make a little Sharpie marker. Mark right there. Then you can get your perfect little alignment there. And then, okay, something really important to keep in mind with these castings, since it's a soft metal, definitely um, stay away from clipping your holes too close to the edge. Since it's a softer metal, it will um, have the tendency, like if I were to move up another line and try and push that hole to the edge, it could definitely bust the side. It's gonna be perfect for, um, perfect in strength as long as you just stay away from the edge enough. All right, now what we wanna do is see how we're, we've got that hole, we're gonna ignore that hole. We're going to be lining up that hole so it looks smaller just like a real dragonfly would look so you're gonna just butt it right up to your other wing make sure it's nice and close to that and then we're gonna i love the sharpie markers because the sharpie um ultra fine point because it fits through all of our holes and um, casting thicknesses. So that's pretty much perfect right there. Okay, we've got our mark. Um, it's not super heavy mark, so I'm just gonna punch that before I accidentally rub it off. <clears throat> All right, there's that. Now let's do our other side. Remember, I use the um, hole that we just created. Okay. And um, the mark ended up going on the outside edge, which is fine. Just use that as your guide to how far to go, and then obviously punch it in more close to the center of that frame, outside frame as you can get. Okay, looking pretty good. Again, don't have to be perfect. Even if your measurements are off a bit, it's still gonna end up beautiful. It's like those slight imperfections that make things so endearing and Pretty. Avanda's asking if it's better to punch from the top or the bottom. Um, I'm not sure. So like the top of which part? Oh, bottom. Sorry, Always Ron. easiest to... I hung up on Ron Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Always easiest to punch from the back because it forces your plier, like if you, if you're on like a domed edge, especially with this, it could tend to slide as you punch. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you go from the back, it keeps everything real nice and in place. Hopefully that helped, made sense or whatever. Alrighty, now's my favorite part is clipping and making our tight connection. So kind of what I, usually do with the getting the right measurement is I'll actually rest the plier so it almost ends up being like a knife edge almost knife edge cut instead of perfectly flat and I think that's just like laziness wise but it ends up being that um, I find it works a bit better when it's not perfectly straight because some of the 
upper edge, which is some of the upper edge has more. So that part kind of folds down onto the piece more and ends up really working out for your benefit. Rounded, back to flat. Doesn't that look super nice? You could even go as far as to, and look how nice and tight that is. Barely can even move that back into place. So before you get it too perfect, make sure you slide it. And then do your final hammering of both of those. And that's gonna just be incredibly strong, like so. Okay, let's do the other side. Where'd that go? My little rivet ran away. I'll just use this one. Oh, there it is under my ruler over here. Okay. So through the back through the back again, then flip it. You can hold everything all together as you flip. <clears throat> this okay. is super cool, Mackie. Um, I'm going back to your uh, pairing castings with stampings. Mm. And I am thinking about riveting a lot of castings and stampings together mm -hmm. because you've got that lightweight, with a little more of a weighty feel. Mm -hmm. And it's just a really great look. Like, I love this look. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I was thinking of all the different things. Like, I freaking love the calves that you have in this. In this gorgeous piece. Mm -hmm. But I was also thinking, you know what would be incredible in there? Would be like filigree. In the, in the center? Too. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. I know. So yeah, there's your perfect little fluttering setting. You Looks like I, it's about to fly away. You know what I think my most useful tip for riveting was when you were explaining it? Oh, yeah. Like, or like, like when we first like started, we started actually like riveting riveting mm -hmm. was the credit card thickness. So oh yeah, well that wasn't that wasn't my it, tip. I would always do it slightly more. Yeah, and then it, and then like it would gets like, all janky and weird. Yeah, and I was like, why do I suck at riveting? And it was just because I was like, that's yeah, it's all reason. about it's all about the thickness and getting rid of any spacing. Look back. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, like riveting um the yeah. things onto a filigree instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love that. I mean, that. there's so many things, and like, look at that one. You could rivet. So I didn't put any in this kit, but if you have any stones or any tinies like this, you can totally use those opportunities right there as a little cute little rhinestone flat back. So you just glue and then if you just don't like the look of those rivets, which I personally liked them for this because it kind of kind of felt like a bit more um, hand done or kind of a little more steampunky. I really liked how they looked personally, but if you want to really sharpen the look up, go ahead and add a couple flat backs. That one is is included in your kit. Um, and what I did there is I actually took the whole punch plier and I punched out that hole like five times about. So punch one hole and then you kind of, I'll show you quickly. So go from the back always is what we suggest. So punch it towards the top middle here. And I'm kind of just like chomping out little, you're not doing a whole other punch, whole other hole, but you're kind of just eating the side like that. So you make it bigger and it does not have to be perfect by any means. You just need enough space for that, um, for that 
pointed back to slide through just enough. It will sit up a tad bit still, but that's kind of, you can always get that sharp knife edge. If you try using that inner, um, like smaller edge on the edge of the hole, it will slide in, but use the outside or the larger, longer portion to kind of munch the sides of that hole. There you go. I love all these tips that you're giving because that. you know, you don't have to just use these tips on this jewelry. For you know sure. I mean? You can use that on so many things. So yeah, see how that will now slide in farther. Whereas if I were to have just done the one hole punch, it would have only had like a teeny bit to grab onto. That way it just makes it that much easier. Okay, and then painting wise, this was the same technique. You can actually dip just like we were doing earlier. I would just suggest to leave out the blues. So on the side of your mat, once you've done your full dip, take um, lapis, neon, and lapis, neon blue, and the barn red, and do equal parts of all three and mix up a really gorgeous little burgundy color and insert that in. And then a little bit of Mackie, let's put your moss and oh, oh, a little bit of moss and neon yellow. Very fairy. Okay. A little bit of neon and moss around the edges mm -hmm. as well. And for anybody more white gold in the middle. That's just joining. We just popped up the um, very fairy uh, necklace, earrings, and bracelet kit that Mackie is demoing right now. And if you want to buy it, you comment everything between the quotation marks up there. Mm -hmm. Cart space 102. And Stephanie loves getting your tips and techniques to use on future projects. Yay! Um, Stephanie uses a lot of flat backs on the rivet tops. Yes, love it. And um, can you ask? I'm so if, glad I did it today too, Robin. Can you also ask if this is something that they would like to see on a bracelet for a bracelet kit? Because I'm just looks like mom's playing over there, some and she's coming up with some to fun on your bracelet wrist. ideas. Is that how it feels? feels really good yeah what do you guys think oh uh, where do we recommend buying <clears throat> flat backs we use Swarovski a lot um yeah those are our favorite yeah get really they're lucky pretty cheap when they're like, very teeny. you can go to Beatsmith yeah. you can go to what are some other places Beatsmith these A to cute Z. ones are just from Amazon these um mer mermaid rhinestones yeah, those are beautiful. Which are very fun. They're like no, little nail bubbles. Art stuff. Yeah. You use. Nail art, Hobby Lobby, nail art, little tiny. Which sometimes nail art ones, though, aren't as high quality since they're just going to be ripped off of some of these nails. True. Sometimes they are so, like actual Swarovski, too, though. Depending on just the depends. Day, right? mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'll quickly just go through this. You've got, um, oh, that's why I wrote out the link lengths. Did you have those still? Remember on that piece of paper when you were making the... 44. Oh, dang. I have, wait, I have the link. The paper should be somewhere. I kept it. Okay, we're going to find like... the link lengths of each of these. It was 36 and 44, but I don't remember which one was which. Well, 36 would be the shorter one. Right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> that was the most unsure <laughs> yeah <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right. Just go for it. Just send it. You okay. What else? Right so when you punch your hole.
holes up here to start attaching your chains. Make sure you punch in, which I'm not gonna do because I may actually just leave this pendant for fun for something else. But make sure you punch in far enough from the edge. Again, like I was saying, since this is a casting and it's softer. So I think that's all I really wanted to go over today. Everything else is super straightforward. So that is how you make that gorgeousness. I will quick pop up the unicorn, fairy unicorn one as well. I'm curious which ones are selling more of the fairy or the unicorn. I can look. And then let me explain the fairy unicorn color. The fairy unicorn paint is the full paint set minus any red. Yes. So do your full mix in like before and you're gonna leave out your red and you're gonna stamp it all on your stamp your cameo through and then do white gold and the iridescent violet on the unicorn very simple you really can't mess these either of these up as long as you focus on keeping the unicorn and the fairy real nice and clean with mostly um, white gold and iridescent violet in the center I love Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. She said, as a person afflicted with ADD, I can really relate to and appreciate Wendy's insurgents. <laughs> At least one of us appreciates it. Just oh kidding. Oh my gosh. I don't really care. Unless I'm having like an already tough day in my brain, then I'm just like, oh, you got to stop. Because <laughs> I can't even think straight myself, but most of the time I'm fine. Especially with Yerba. True. Yerba makes us all nicer people here. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of a shame that that was the last one you away. just sipped. Yeah. You're just sipping at the last one here. Mm -hmm. I'm unlucky. Maybe I'm about to not be so nice. There's one more in the door. Dang it, Mom. I wasn't going to tell him. That was the one. I thought that was the one in the door. <laughs> I was trying to just let him believe that was the last one. Did you guys... <laughs> Like, growing up, would you hide certain things, like, at the back of the pantry Heck or behind yeah. the fridge? Heck, yeah. Behind, like, like the ketchup and oh, con condiment smart. containers. I'm probably the least devious, most transparent person I know, just because I can never think of doing things like that. I wish I was smarter, because I probably would have... Oh, you... Sawyer found it, and he's opening it. No, Mom doesn't know what she's talking about, because the reason why we can get you guys such good deals is because we are wheeling and dealing on the original things. No, what? Oh, I was just talking about hiding pop in the back of the pantry. But you said I'm not deviant at all. That's not being it's devious. Not, it's not devious, but it's not like Wait, the most honest. A good, wait, what is it? Find it, getting a good deal on something. Because if you're paying, the no, if the, you're most paying the most like fair price, you would say like, oh, this sterling yeah. silver piece is worth yeah, no, that's not being way devious. more. I don't uh, think that's being devious. Because it takes so much energy to get it to be <clears throat> worth more. Right? Oh my gosh, yeah, because I look at getting the best deal is like the hardest work. Because yeah. you're working so hard to find like yeah. the best deal so that you can sell it for the best deal. I think being devious... That's resourceful. Being devious in the situation would be... That's not, be I'm like, not oh, saying that's it's not devious. I'm oh, just yes, if you like, were saying to someone, hey, this isn't sterling, yeah, can this, I buy this it? Is just, this is just some cheap knockoff of sterling. I'm yeah. just going to buy it from you, from you for 50 Which cents. I would never do. I'm just saying sometimes you find gold for a dollar. I know, but yeah, that's but, like so, the price they marked it. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's you're just buying you're just buying it. There's no way they thought it was a dollar. I'm saying Wait, that's what that's you your closest about? thing. Like, look at this. See that? Good that thing ring? you're not with that one on your middle finger, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see this? So what was really cool? I got this ring last weekend with Mackie at the Boise Flea, which you're gonna be in, right? 
and somebody had five bucks on it. This is a Native American, like Navajo, gorgeous ring. And they had, um, they had bent up the whole ring part into like a pendant. I don't even know what it was. And, and it was like broken, not broken, but just bent. And I straightened it out and I have like, you know, $125 ring for five bucks, but with hard work, you know, because I knew it wasn't a pendant mm -hmm. and then I turned it into a ring. So that was fun. Also, it's I love a lot doing of, stuff like that. It's a lot of like knowledge and stuff that like people don't have when they sell like, I don't know, like things are worth more in the hands of other people. Yeah, like some people don't care. Like, like honestly, people, yeah. I would sell something just to get it off of my hands knowing, yeah. and I have, my garage sales are so cheap. Yeah. Because I'm like, yeah, I know this is worth 50 bucks, but you can have it for five. Mm -hmm. I will do that all the time. Yeah. Because I like to give the deal as much as I like to get one. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Well, I was told you guys saw it right here. But I think that we are probably about to the end of our live, right? Unless, is there anything else we need to go through? Oh, no, I didn't tell you. I wasn't like hammering, right? I was saying, I think it's resourceful is the word that we were looking for, probably. <laughs> is there anything else we would like to go through <laughs> for the end of this live? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I missed the look, but I can feel it. I can, Mackie, I can, like, pull off the screen. Look I didn't look. I'm just waiting for someone to say something relevant to what we're doing right now. Finding uh, deals. Giving deals. <clears throat> you, well, wait, you, you, you did say that the unicorn fairy, or the fairy unicorn and the very fairy, they're pretty much the same way. Yeah. I mean, they, they are like just the different beads and colors. Like, but, like, you, there's not, like, no technique different nope. in either one. No, Maggie, that's what they're wondering, if there's any different techniques in either one of them. Oh, who was wondering that? I mean, I will say it. I didn't me. say any comment. I was, oh, you're I was wondering. wondering. Okay, yeah. Like nothing. maybe, like, paint or something. Nothing different. I just went through the paints, and that's the only difference. Nice. And then obviously your colors are different on the beads. So all of your pinks come with the very fairy. And then all of your greens are with the fairy unicorn. Becky, do you think that uh, it would be good for Stephanie to pick up a natural brass chain cuts pack because she was wondering about the length of longer chain on today's necklace. So you could make, you could make extenders and also find more chain to add it. It also comes with a longer chain. I always cut it up way shorter for the live and for my personal use because I prefer the shorter necklaces. So you say um, it's about 20 because you're using about an inch. Do you remember what the chain length was, Sawyer, when you were kidding? Well, it's uh, 18, but so when you take it out to here, it might make the necklace length 20. I don't remember the total length of the yeah, 18 necklace. Or, 18 or 19. Well, I'm looking at, so this space right here, see this space, is about an inch and a half. And the necklace length is 18 that they get. So I would say 19 and a half is your length. And if you want to make it 24, just add a five inch extender or something that you do, Mac, a lot is you will put a cool section in the middle right there of chain, like with jump rings and then doubled up to make it look purposeful. So there's a couple of suggestions there, um, Stephanie. Yeah, I would say definitely if you want your... Avanda, if you want to make this all into a bracelet, there's more than enough because you're getting the chain cuts plus these beaded links plus these beads oh, yeah. and this. You can make all of that into a really gorgeous bracelet. And if you do, please post it because I would love to see your inspiration on that. So anyways...
Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. Who wants to say bye? Not me. Just bye, kidding. everybody. Someday, Mackie and I want to show you our, um, before we say bye, there's my ADD. Someday, Mackie and I want to show you our vintage finds. We might even do a live like one night, right? Selling, mm -hmm. like, Mackie has a ton of sterling vintage jewelry, and so do I. And we thought it would be really fun. If you guys want to see it, if you want to, do you ever, like, want to buy stuff like, like the rings that we wear and stuff let us know um because we think that would be super fun and you know different than what we're doing but still really fun do you want to show i will totally let you know just... stephanie if i decide to come up to montana i'd have to do a flea market though to ju justify it what am i doing with this showing it dry okay because it, oh, act yeah, yeah. it actually dried and we forgot um i didn't Sometimes we i don't... showed it a bunch Oh, after, after it dried. Time? I actually did this time. Because oh. I could sense that you were going to ask me today. And I did it and advanced. You're so awesome. smart, sister. Wow. Sister. <laughs> I hate that. So creepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for coming. And, um, yes, looks like no one else needs to say bye. I think everyone's already busy designing their next goodies we are we're working on bracelet kits right now gina's and i am okay gorge